And he's he was pretty come flat in. on the back inside too, sir. Yeah, pretty flat. We come back to live coverage from Melbourne Park of the Australian Open men's singles first round. And big news here is a break of serve, early break of serve for Robin Vick Thank you. of the Czech Republic as he has two games to one. Just check that crowd outside watching this big screen TV. So far, in a long-term forecast, looks like it's going to stay that way. You know, there's there's usually a couple of days of incredible heat a here. Of scorches. We may be able to survive that uh, this year. There they are outside there, enjoying the beautiful day and the big screen. You know, Czechoslovakia and now the Czech Republic or the Slovak Republic have always had a deep history in tennis. They also love ice hockey, just by the way. But look, the Czech Republic alone has got uh, Stepanik, Berdic, Yuri Novak as well. I mean, they've got a lot of good players. on some of those second serve returns. The red this one was looking for it out wide. Cut it off. Break point. So, chance to get back in, right back on serve here. That's out. I think like you said that was some surprise, but I mean, what do you do? A guy's been aggressive to you. One way to take it away from him is to be aggressive yourself, right? Well, that's, that's one way, but I mean, I'm, I'm not used to seeing Hewitt really step in on second serve returns that consistently. I like it. I like him. I like to see him do it. I don't think Hewitt minds, minds that much actually counter punching and having someone come to net. He's, he's perfectly happy to hit passing shots. Or lobs. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. He loves that one. He's got the best lob in the business. Parents there, still on hand. So here comes, here comes Vic comes in. Hewitt just plays it down the middle on the topper. Takes it early. You can't read it. So dangerous. You don't know, as you said, you can't read, you never know when it's coming. Break point. Good start to this match, Primak. Yeah, good. Fun good start. Tennis of both guys moving the ball around. Trying to sneak in. Two games. 
if Vic can keep the same standard, then uh, for some good stuff. You're watching live coverage here from Rod Laver Arena of day two for Australian Open. It's Australia's hope, Leighton Hewitt, the number three seed, taking on Robin Vic. Emily Moresmo a winner earlier, but it was close. First ace of the match. different stuff as well and again I think he's being forced to because Vic started out very aggressively 30 love in this game to a piece first set they've traded early breaks Rezmo taking out Sun Tian Kien of China well, it helps Hewitt's demeanor and his confidence when he can win some cheap points with that first serve Seems like he gets a little more aggressive. The rest of his game comes together. He has to work so hard in the backcourt rallies. And winning those cheap points helps him a lot. Hello. Good second serve right inside the line. And Vic just says, look what I found on that return. So it's 3-2 on serve. It's going to be Vic of the Czech Republic to serve and we come back. This is an international event. They're here from everywhere in the world. Players and spectators. Live coverage continuing here of this second day. Men's first round. Leighton Hewitt in action. He's up, but we're on serve in the first set. Taking on Robin Vic, Czech Republic. Good return again from Hewitt. Sets himself up for the easy forehand. So Hewitt had a bit of a of a virus that he was bothering him during Sydney, the warm-up event. So that may also been oh, beautiful. Oh, that's the first come on. We heard plenty of him last year as he look to use the crowd irritated at quite a few of his opponents along the way but Hewitt not too concerned about that and he dips that backhand cross court the stomach virus was really affecting Hewitt even in his first round win in Sydney when he took out uh, Vince Spadia he said after losing the first set he was considering retiring in the match BMAC how does a guy like Vic um, end up 63 in the world when he uh, wins eight matches on the tour. Is it be, is it because of the challenges? Yeah, futures. So well, on the challenge, well, mostly the challenges. That's where you can really make some points. If you if you win quite a few challengers, um, that you, you could basically get into the top hundred almost exclusively on those events. And then that's when you find out how good those players are, because then once you get to that point, then you can start getting into. You can start getting into the, the tour events. As you see, uh, Vic was this number two in this group. Andy Murray and Bobby Reynolds, the American there, went up 180 spots. And then you start playing, you know, the tougher guys every match. That passing shot gets him the break of serve. Second break of the match. He, in turn, broken once. Roger Rashid happy about this. And it's four games to two for Leighton Hurt in the first set. Uh, Hewitt again counter punching beautifully dips it down low drop shot not going to get it done against this man he's already looking for the short one three come ons in that game
Well, there's some guys out there, Cliff, I, I, I call them good challenger players. And they're guys that always do well at those tour events. They're usually guys that are pretty well-rounded players, but they don't have a big weapon. So when they get up to the big leagues, they don't really have that shot that can elevate them to compete with the top 100, the top 70 players in the world on a consistent basis. Oh, now that's that great passing shot. On the dead run. Hewitt is able to use that left hand so well on the backhand. Watch the way he uses his left hand to sort of scoop this and get it cross court. Most of the great two-handers really can use that left hand effectively to control the ball. <laughs> we'll find out in about six months or so if, if Vic is, is one of those guys. Is he a good challenger player or will he be able to keep himself up in the top 50, 60 by playing the, the tour events? Well, he's cleaned things up pretty well here, hasn't he? As Hewitt leads now by five games to two. Here is that big screen outside the Rod Laver Arena that they enjoy so much. Serving 15 love. Hewitt the first to be broken, then he in turn broken at least broke twice By the way, Vic's friends call him uh, Kevin because his friends say that he looks like Macaulay Culkin of uh, Home Alone fame. His character was yeah, named Kevin, Kevin right? exactly. Yeah. Just passing that on, I'm not sure that I see the resemblance. <laughs> Starting to press a little bit more now. Vic, has, it looked like he tweaked something in his back. He's sort of stretching after that serve. Got to put a lot of extra pace on that. Both of Vic's parents were accomplished gymnasts. He played soccer as a youngster. Oh, oh, he, oh he got it. Got it. point for Vic, but he's down the break. It's 2-5. Another aggressive return there from Hewitt, but he didn't do what he wanted with this one. That was a terrible drop. Volley. Sat up for Vic. This ball inside the line. Yeah, Moves pretty well, Vic, as well, well doesn't he? Good athlete. Uh, obviously, uh, Hewitt does, but Vic... Uh, He's no slouch. 5 3, he would serve me for the first set. Although there's one ball around behind this one. Aussie colors there. Headgear. Okay, you can't see it, though. But there's one back there somewhere. Here in the uh, chair umpire. Talk to one of the ball kids. It's Fergus Murphy from Ireland. Is Ferg. I'm not going to make any Irish jokes here with uh, JP McInerney right. standing right behind me. My, my dad making his first trip down under, or at least to this event. Going to be on my best behavior here now. 15 Love Hewitt serving for the first set. He 
second double fault. But this has been a clean match. He's got 12 winners to seven unforced errors, Hewitt. And Vic's in the plus column also. And as quick as these two are, it's not that easy to hit, to hit winners, I'm telling you. It's good stuff. Mm. And what's even more remarkable to me, P-Mac, is this is their first match on uh, this. You know, it takes sometimes guys a little while to get into a tournament, but they have come out, both of them, firing. 1530. the rhythm on the serve here two straight doubles boy just out of nowhere Hewitt uh, donates three straight points Vic a chance to get back on serve Hewitt gets it back. Vic does well there, but Hewitt able to just get enough on it to scoop it past Vic, who was moving forward to try to cut it off. There's a break point coming up. got to the final here last year and that's uh, came the first Australian since Pat Cash in 88 to get to the championship match he lost in the final to Marit Safin after a quick start winning the first set Sales and Hewitt has got a set point. One of the great parts of Hewitt's game is just his ability to, to focus when he needs to to raise his level. Except that this, this of course, game. just like that, he dumps the first ball in the net. A pretty shaky game from Hewitt, this one. all over that second serve. Third chance to break. game and that uh, that one there from Leighton Hewitt we're back on serve in the first set Robin Vick will serve and we come back live here to Labour Arena in Melbourne one here at uh, Melbourne Park is you can go get yourself a, a tinny as they call it down under in Australia Tony Roach probably had a few of those in his time and there is his bust he's one of the most famous tennis personalities in this great country he's a terrific doubles player and then took on the reins as coach of Ivan Lendl. Now he's coaching, uh, among others, Roger Federer, Tony Roach. Pat Cash and his band will be out there a little later today. So bring our earplugs and we'll head out there a little later. Might be kind of loud, I think.
four five Vic serving 15 low. I'm sure you, I know so how hip you are with the music scene and what's popular out there. I know you probably heard of the Dave Matthews band, right? That I have. Well, they, they've got that great uh, fiddle player who's in the band Boyne Tinsley, and he's uh, going to put together some music for us for Wimbledon this year. In fact, uh, my spies tell me that he's working on it this week. Uh, so that'll be something for you to look forward to, our, our Wimbledon coverage. Dave Matthews, big tennis fan. Yeah, and Boyd as well. He actually has a tournament that he sponsors in... Uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, where they're all from. Is there some South African background in Dave Matthews? If there is, I'm not aware of it. Okay. Possible. Hewitt right back in it here, a chance to get another break and try to close out this first set. Set it up perfectly. It's just lack of match play and sharpness. There, the good backhand cross court stretched Vic out, and he had the whole court to hit into. Vic was completely wrong footed. Game point. Watching the Fergus Murphy in the chair and see what ShotSpot says that it was on the line. That second serve up early, and he did, so it's deuce. This is Vic trying to stay in the set. He's down 5-4. He broke Hewitt in the last serve game of Hewitt when he served for it. breaks again he's won the first set back to set two live after this 